Good day there, my name is Sam Kaplor and you are watching XDA TV. And if you've been asking, Sam, where have you been? We need you, Sam. Come back to us, Sam. I love you. Then, unfortunately, I've been tied up with busy things, things that take up a lot of time and make me busy, like watching far too much Gilmore Girls. So much Gilmore Girls, in fact, that it's probably damaging to my health. I love you, Rory. My manly health. Yeah, grrr. Into the news for today, if you have been following developments on ice cream sandwich ROMs, then there is actually far too much news for you to probably process. Ice cream sandwich has really been dominating the news industry over the past few days. The HTC HD2, a phone which can apparently do anything in the world ever, has got an ice cream sandwich ROM that not only works apparently faster than gingerbread, but has acceleration, hardware acceleration, and it works. The Nexus S and the Galaxy S both have ice cream sandwich ROMs too, but they are Cyanogen Mod 9 ROMs. Both alpha builds, but the Nexus S is the one that's the most far gone. Because it's so far gone, it actually works pretty darn well. I have it running on here, and my god! Is it beautiful? And if you don't own one of those devices, then you might own one of the devices that I wrote about in my Ice Cream Sandwich Port's progress report the other day. The progress report was put out on the portal and it was just a massive list of devices and their stage of development and what's working and what's not working and a link to the development page. And the wonderful half-blanket, half-man Russell Holly joined us on the portal to write about how you can run Windows Phone 7 inside any mobile browser. This is a really cool idea for anyone who is thinking about getting a Windows Phone 7 device, which I'd recommend. After I've used Windows Phone 7 for a while, I have to accept it, hands down here, I was wrong about Windows Phone 7. The only few times I ever used Windows Phone 7 was on a device which either wasn't fast enough or just wasn't nice to use. After I've been using WP7 on the HTC Titan, my god! Is that an experience? And in two smaller pieces of news, on the portal you can vote for the best tablet of the year and the best phone of the year. Currently, the Asus Transformer, the best tablet of the year in my opinion, is actually winning by a landslide. And the best phone of the year, apparently, is the Samsung Galaxy S2, which is winning by a landslide. If you want to put in your two cents and vote on your favourite tablet or phone of the year, or maybe even both, go along to the uh, articles and vote. That's all for today, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed today's episode and my spinning. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.